Hi, OMG, said Sydney. Hello. Hi, I can't see myself yet. Can you all see me? That would be horrifying if that's the case. Hi. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hannah B has a very relevant question in the chat. Well, um, you don't choose who you're watching on the YouNow homepage. It, uh, yeah, it just says that you're watching whoever happens to be on the homepage when you log in. So, uh... <clears throat> right, I guess I should tweet, um... <laughs> what? What am I talking about? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, what are those things on your bed, said somebody. iPod headphones. There we go. Um, OMG, you're on time. Alicia, I just arrived. Don't hit me with the sass already, okay? Uh, logging in to the comps. Right, um, any, anything you want to say before uh, I tweet this to the masses that have no idea that I'm here? Wow, you're not wearing black. Monochrome is, you know, as long as it's black, white, grey, it's fine. And then I will have like a couple, you know, items of colour. Just, I, just, I don't want to make it a big thing, even though it is a thing, you know. It's scary. It's scary. I think it's it's no yeah it's scary. Um, okay, <laughs> let's let's tweet the live show. Hmm, did that work? Did Dan just tweet the right link? Let's find out. <laughs> um, let's take a quick moment to just appreciate the Twitter header uh, made by one of you guys. Of oops, need to go back to the chat of um, Hazel Grace and uh, I've forgotten his real name, I was just gonna call him Ansel Elgort, the fake fan, uh, <laughs> as me and Kanye. Uh, just like, wow, so much to say about that header, but it's just an incredible Augustus, thank you. Uh, incredible Photoshop skills, and that's like, I don't know, Is it? I feel like it's inappropriate in like a hundred ways but it's just incredible, so shout out to whoever made that header, whose name I've already forgotten, because I'm a rude person, let me just... Uh, what's the name going? Nat, apparently. Thanks. Uh, right. Oh, yeah, I'm doing a live show. <clears throat> Hello, everybody, I'm doing a live show. Hello, everybody, I'm doing a live show. Hello, everybody, I'm doing a live show. Hello, everybody. 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 I'm doing a Wow, my the, the the appearance of this web broadcast drastically, and here comes the blueness again. Yeah, um, your hashtag is so uncreative. How disappointing. We've been through this before. Too much creative pressure for me to come up with a new hashtag every- I freak out enough about a tweet, because what do I say other than doing a live show? <laughs> I don't need to- don't, don't put pressure on me to come up with uh, live show hashtags as well. Stop. Um, Cheerful Lester says, how was ballet? Ah yes, uh, we needed a, a place, a room to do some rehearsals for the Dan and Phil UK tour coming to a town near you danandphil.ctickets.com spawn um is that even the right I have no idea was that even the right website um and the only place we could find at short notice in central london was a dance studio and yeah i arrived and i was like oh, hi i'm here i was just out of breath because there were some stairs but i guess to a normal person it would look like i i ran there or something and someone was like you are you the male ballet lead and i was like me really like you you're looking at this <laughs> this package and you assume that i i can carry ballerinas um as they fly through there no um but yeah that was that was fun yeah, please come to Turkey, said Idolo, okay. I'll put that on the list. Uh, right. So. I didn't do a live show last week, did I? Oh my god, it's still going on my closed laptop. Stop. You beast. Uh, Dan, you changed your icon. I saw someone said, yeah. Wowza needed to go. Like, it's Wowza's... Wowza has really needed to go for a few weeks now. Like, it was funny. And then it was, like, still kind of funny. And then it got funny 
because it wasn't funny anymore. And like the longer I kept it, the funnier it became because it was so terrible. But then it got to a point where I was just like, it needs to go. Uh, so <laughs> I, uh, I looked at some photos from the uh, photo shoot we had for our book. And I was like, we're not using this one. Can I just put it for my Twitter profile pic? And they were like, yeah, okay, whatever. Probably not allowed to. Um, but there we go. That's better. Don't get me wrong. It's still disgusting. Because not only am I peace signing, which is um, unacceptable, but I'm, I'm double peace signing, which is just disgusting. But at this point, if my Twitter profile picture wasn't disgusting, then it wouldn't be appropriate, would it? So uh, I'm sorry. And yeah, uh, if you're wondering why I look so blue, it's really bright at the moment, so I feel like the sun is just out in the height of summer. The sun's setting at like half past 11 in the UK at the moment. So I was like, I don't want to sit in the dark when the sun's still out, which is why we've got this disgusting natural lighting today. Mmm, who loves seeing my paws? Not me. Great. Uh <laughs> Johanna OK, Johanna OK said, has your eyebrow returned from the war? OK, OK. There are so many things have happened since we last spoke. I wasn't here last Tuesday because I, uh, I went traveling with Phil to go spend some quality time with Phil's brother, Martin, who runs Dan and Phil's shop. Cool little fact. Um, just to talk about stuff, because we've basically been ignoring him for six months. Um, so that was fun. And where we were, we saw that there was a horse sanctuary nearby. Um, so unfortunately, I couldn't do a live show because there was no internet. Um, but yeah, we went to a, a horse sanctuary, which is a place where retired workhorses go. So um, horses that can't run anymore because they're old they go to um, this like weird farm. It sounded like a horse euthanasia clinic or something because it was like where the old horses go to retire and I was like, that sounds like they're killing them, but they're not. It was like an old people's home for horses, which is, it was as adorable as you think, but I kind of forgot because I haven't seen a horse up close for probably several years. They are gigantic creatures and they're beautiful and majestic, but um, majestic, majestic, but they're also terrifying. <laughs> giant creatures and there are some horses and it's like the head of that horse is like 10 times the size of my head and that's to and we had some feeding pellets um and they were like feed the horses and uh so you hold out your hand and then the horse just kind of it what it does is it, it scoops the the horse pellets off your hand into its mouth which means that horse nuts, yeah, thank you everybody, they're called horse nuts, but they're not actually nuts, but they're called horse nuts. Um, so it like scrapes the inside of its lips, <laughs> like against your hand into its mouth, which was an incredibly disturbing and intimate experience. Uh, like really, they, they go to town on your hand. It wasn't like a, oh, pet the horse, got some straw in your hand. And you, you know, you, like a baton pass, you give the horse's mouth the straw, the horse's mouth receives the straw, and no dribbling happened. It's very much like a <laughs> uh, kind of thing. So <laughs> Phil was like, hey, Dan, do it, and I'll take a picture. And I was like, okay, and I was like, ah! So many of you guys across the websites may have seen a picture of me that we, uh, we, we put in the Dan and Phil shop newsletter. Uh, which, by the way, is a thing, um, if you're interested in Dan and Phil Shop, then we kind of like talk about stuff and whatever. You can sign up to it on the website. Um, we included a picture of the, uh, the horses. Yeah, traumatizing, but lovely. That was fun. And the eyebrow thing, okay, um, can I find it? It'll be on my Twitter, won't it? In case any of you don't know, this is quite hilarious, and I wish I commented on it. But I didn't have internet, so I, like, I, at the time I noticed it, and then afterwards I felt like I'd kind of missed the boat on it. But here is the photo, if it ever loads, do, 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 there we go. Um, here is the photo of us and the horse. By the way, that horse selfie, it wasn't meant to be serious. I was like, how funny would it be if, because, you know, like, grinning and looking happy isn't, uh, my, my style. <laughs> So, so I, I always get a bit like, yeah, but, you know, I'm not a grinning person. Um, 
I was like, wouldn't it be funny if you took a photo with a horse? Uh, the emotion during the taking of that photo was pure terror. Like, because the horse's face was just like, hi, I'm here, I'm a horse. And I was like, you're going to eat me. You're going to bite my ear and I'm going to die. Um, but it was funny. And we took it. But <laughs> if you notice, look at my face. One of my eyebrows is freakishly more gigantic than... <laughs> than the other one. Um, and as you'll have noticed from my many videos, I don't have one eyebrow freakishly gigantic than the other, but something happened on that photo. Uh, and I was trying to work it out, and we decided that it was mainly perspective. Because if you imagine how I was taking the photo, I would kind of like the horse's head was there, and I was like that. And I was really kind of like sticking this this side of my face towards the camera, like that. Um, and because obviously my face is gigantic, uh, like a whale or something, um, the perspective really went to town in that, and it's also a bit lighter on the side of my face. But if you haven't seen it, go to my Twitter, it's really funny. Um, so thank you to everybody debating the mystery of my eyebrow, that was a, a fun evening on Tumblr for Dan. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. Um, and yeah, sorry about my, um, my, my icon. I'm just a terrible person. Your face is cuter than a whale, said somebody in the chat. Thank you. Cheyenne said, I love your new icon. Thank you. Top three metal albums you're listening to. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> that I'm listening to present tense. Do I listen to that much metal? Uh, let me see. Uh, I have been re-listening to... I love irrelevant tangents like this. Um... Let's just see. My Spotify ran out of Spotify Premium and the icon changed. What's with the lighting, said Donna? This is the, the natural lighting of the sky making me look like a smurf right now. <laughs> Your icon is kawaii. Do you think so? Um, the last metal album I listened to was Bloodstone and Diamonds by Machine Head. There we go. I'm sure everybody in the chat listens to that particular album every day. It's a bit, I've been going on a bit of a um, FKA Twigs rebirth recently because, you know, obviously FK Twigs is the GOAT person on Earth and shout out to Crank That Frank who is the number one fan, just got a pop up there and Molly for tipping me. Thanks for the tips. Stuff them down my shirt. Um, <laughs> What, oh God, I'm such a golden retriever, aren't I? Phil confronted me the other day, and he was like, Dan, um, I don't, I'm not saying that I listen to your live shows, but you need to stop forgetting what you're talking about halfway through a conversation, because you get distracted by something in the chat. And I'm like, whoa, rude. Uh, yeah, FK Twigs, if you don't listen to her, educate yourself um, in life, because you haven't ascended to the next level yet. Um, she made a video for the YouTube Music Awards called Glass and Patron. You can just search Glass and Patron on YouTube and you can watch the music video. It's, she's so amazing. She's so amazing. She's like a 10 out of 10. She's just so better than like every, and I was just listening to her incredible album, LP1, again, as well as Drones. And that's probably it for Dan's musical taste recently. <laughs> I'm just going to recently played. What have I even listened to? And I'm Emma, who am I? Actually, I was listening to their last album, Blue, which is also good. Um, <laughs> R.I.P. Wowzer. Really? Do, are, are, you, are, you, are you sad uh, to miss Wowzer? Dan, do you want any piercings? Any more piercings? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> don't know. Don't really think about it that often. Dan, I want to help organise the tour, hire me, maybe Becky, once we, once we realise what we're actually taking on, we might be like, oh god, <laughs> you never know. And now it's Sophia Beaver, I really hope that that's your real name, that would be quite amazing. Dan, do you think the You Now Llama is based after you? I'd like to think that it was, after all the support <laughs> that we've given the website over the years, that llama with the brown fringe. What else could it be, other than clearly me? Uh, no. Who knows? I should ask them. Hey, you now. Did you base your llama with a fringe off of me? Uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk about it much. I've got it here because I was playing with it. We've got, um, 
a new phone case, <laughs> which is kind of hilarious. A couple of people were like, really? And I'm like, come on, don't take it that seriously. Kind of, come on, it's, it's kind of amazing. And kawaii, uh, but yeah. Y'all don't, it's gonna be enough of that. Um, the Glass and Patron video is so strange, OMG. Strange, but incredible. Yes, defino. Uh, 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 uh. Hi from Sydney and Becca. Hello, Sydney and Becca. Any music suggestions? There you go. Frolic and enjoy <laughs> those wonderful things. Everyone in the chat is asking about the tweet I favorited. Okay. I'm going to have to just take a moment to slow down here. So, <laughs> a thing happened, right? And uh, a lot of people are, are wondering about what this, this thing was. And I said to somebody on Twitter that maybe I'll tell the story on you now. And... This isn't, like, I've, uh, this isn't something I've really, I haven't thought about whether or not it's a good idea to even explain, <laughs> explain it to you, but I'm just going to do it, because it's, it's, like, too late now. Um, so, appreciate that I'm doing something that's possibly a terrible idea. Um, and brace yourselves, because this is a classic, okay? Like, just take a moment to to be ready because it's a good one right so as we all know uh recent equality news you know all the gay marriage in america stuff good one humanity uh or america specifically but because lots of pride things were happening around the world as you'll have seen on twitter all the brands in the entire world changed their profile pictures to rainbows and on particular days people were tweeting messages of support and it's kind of funny because like they're brands and you can be cynical and say that they're joining in to you know promote their brand but really it's a good thing if a brand is just being good uh, <laughs> um, and everybody you know they, they were saying little things and then Virgin America Vir like actual Virgin you know the big company Richard Branson they have a Twitter, which is at Virgin America. Their tweet in support of all the equality things was quite something. Now, I saw this because everybody on my timeline at the particular moment that this happened was talking about it. I think it was Tyler in particular who replied to this tweet just being like, um, oh my god. So, it's, it's kind of... How do I feel about it? I don't know. Basically... The actual Virgin America Twitter account, when they decided they want to tweet something about all the gay rights stuff was happening, their tweet about this was retweet if you're a top or fave if you're a bottom, hashtag equality or something like that. And everyone was just like, oh my god. Because like, <laughs> it's like, how is, is that amazing? Is it funny? Is it hilarious? I mean, it is, it's, it is kind of amazing, but it's like actual virgin just actually... And that's like, I mean, there's n nothing wrong with anal sex, but like, that was actual virgins. Twitter, and everybody on Twitter was just like, I cannot believe that they just tweeted that. And everyone was just freaking out about it. And I was just like, I don't know how I feel about it. That's incredible. This tweet is so funny. Of course I'm favouriting that, because, you know, I want to I save it and remember it whenever. And just didn't uh, think about it and went on with my day. You see, you, you see now. Okay. So about five hours later in the evening, I'm with a friend, and she's on Twitter on her phone. <laughs> and she goes, Dan, you know you favourited this tweet, right? And I was like, oh, what, the version thing? Yeah, I tweeted. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh my god! Are you ki <laughs> Yes. So, so here's the thing, right? Here's the thing about telling you. That is what actually happened. But I don't expect any of you to let this go, or to say that that's what happened, because it's too funny. So don't worry on my behalf. I fully appreciate that this is 
an incredible, hilarious, to be honest, it's just a classic Dan moment, isn't it? This is just, just classic Dan Howell. Of course, of course I'd do that. So, I mean, that, that is what happened, but I, I don't expect you to let that go anytime soon. <laughs> right? So, again, like I said at the start, ap appreciate that I did just explain that with you, because it's quite incredible. I mean, like, just, just when you might think Dan's come so far, you know, as a person, you know, since all the years he's been making this video is about how awkward he is, just the ways that he fucks up constantly, he's never going to to Don't worry. Don't you worry for a second. Yeah, reasons why Dan's a fail. Thank you very much. As I said, classic Dan moment. So, so there you go. You can have that one. Enjoy it. And whenever you think about anything, just remember this moment and think, Wow, Dan. So, uh, so, so yeah, um, that's the thing that happened. And are you surprised? I'm not surprised, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I don't think any of What do you think about meninism? It says that you hit rock bottom <laughs> somewhere too soon, and I probably haven't. Let's be real. Let's be real. More things are going to happen. Um, we all love your awkwardness. I'm sure you do. That's why I'm here. You know, feel bad about your life? No, don't worry. You've got Dan to laugh at whenever you feel bad about anything. Oh, man. Are you vegan? 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 So many things have been happening. What was your reaction to Love Wins? To Love Wins, quickly, whilst I guess this is a relevant segue, obviously that's huge, because, I mean, it is America, and I'm not American, uh, and of course I can, I can be happy for Americans, but just in terms of, like, worldwide awareness and equality and everything. Like, America is a big deal, because, you know, whether anyone wants to believe it or not, America does kind of lead the world when it comes to everything. And America probably has, you know, a lot less issues than, say, like, Afghanistan. But definitely, it you know, it took America a lot longer to find a solution to this than Spain or Canada or several places. So it's huge. It's really huge. You know, uh, so, great America, even if it was kind of without the consent of all the states, you just have to do it. Great. <laughs> let's, let's not waste any time. Why, why should we care about trying to explain things to bigots? Yulia said, Dan, hello, how is the vegan life going, said Donna. So, yeah, that's another thing that happened. Um, Stirring Fandom said, thanks for using my dog header. It was quite an incredible dog header. Like, really, I, I appreciated the things. And Fanthonian thinks my... <laughs> to try on his snazzy Nicola R.I.P. Wowzer. Wow. Um, so, yeah, I said recently that I'm going to try going vegan for the lols. Guess the crime. Except, don't guess the crime, because I can't be bothered to do that. Um, so, yeah, uh, I decided to try being vegan just for, like... A month or for as long as I feel like just to see if I die or hate it or feel like it's better or not and um, here I am kind of like a Brenda said don't be vegan what reason do you really have someone to not to be vegan <laughs> is there any a reason for that um I don't know uh, yeah it's been going great it's been it's been fine um, I felt really healthy um, I've been enjoying the food. One of the main reasons was I got a bit bored of like the 10 things that I knew how to cook and the 10 places I used to always order food from when I was feeling lazy. How are you today, Dan? I'm feeling blue, Lexi. <laughs> um, and really pink. And actual Tom Adele's asking about the veganism. Wow. Wow. Hello, Zara. Um, yeah, so I was like, you know what? I'm probably just going to enjoy eating a bunch of things that taste different and have been. Uh, it's quite funny. I feel like because I've only been doing it for a week, I haven't really had time to be tempted by anything. Phil and I, we went to a little event run by YouTube to explain what YouTube gaming was. Have you guys heard about YouTube gaming? It's a new thing that they're doing. It'll be coming out in a few months. Um, and they had some YouTube branded cupcakes at this event. Uh, I'll try to find a photo of them because they're quite good. Cool. Turn my orientation lock off. And apparently it was a vertical photo because I'm a, I'm a shitlord. Um, look, YouTube cupcakes that you can't see because it's really bright. Wow. YouTube cupcakes are definitely not vegan. 
Um, and also, probably one of the, the most horrifically unhealthy things <laughs> per square centimetre that you can imagine. But Phil, uh, being the, the Satan snake that he is, convinced me to have one. So three days in, I broke my oath and I felt so bad <laughs> about, uh, about, about breaking the vegan oath and also just utterly failing to attempt to be healthy. Because you can't, you can't have a giant plate of courgette for dinner and chia seeds for breakfast and then have a giant cupcake. Just do it, OMG. Just do it, OMG. I think you're right in that it's not, it's not great to self-flagellate. You know, you, sh you shouldn't punish yourself all the time. We should all allow ourselves to have fun. So, I mean, I'm sure that I'm probably going to order an Indian takeaway and eat like a freaking ton of poppadoms and be like, this isn't healthy, because you should enjoy life, you know what I mean? But, um, I'm enjoying being healthy, we'll, we'll see. Phil the Satan snake, everybody's saying, now, it's true, Dan, I'm a furry, just FYI, said Sydney, what's your fursona? You look like an, an otter, I'd say, uh, Kelsey said, hi Dan, hello Kelsey, what's your reason for going vegan? Curiosity, health, maybe a li little bit of guilt, <laughs> who knows? Uh, Hi Dan, OMG have missed your live shows. Yeah, soz, soz I was away. It's so hot today. Lisa, it is so hot today. It is so hot today. In London, right, tomorrow, it is gonna be 35 degrees Celsius. And this is when everyone in the chat's like, I live in Dubai, and it's 100. I know there are hotter places in the world, but in England, nobody has air conditioning. Because all of the houses, because, you know, Britain actually has culture, because it's an old uh, <laughs> country, um, all of the buildings are so old that no one has air conditioning, so you just have to kind of open a window and die, um, is how that works. So, it, what is Celsius? <laughs> Lauren says, it's 45 here, LMAO. Do you have a fan? I, I hope so. Uh, it's going to be horrific. I might just... Uh, buy a million bags of ice from the grocery store and just sit in a bath for an entire day. I feel sorry for anybody that's still at school, because that's going to be monstrous. Um, yeah, I'm not going outside tomorrow, or if, unless I have to. <laughs> yeah, your icon gives me life. Does it? Thank you. I hope you prefer it to Wowza. Where's your pillow? What pillow? What? Um, please say Abigail in fantasy. There we go, Abigail in fantasy. Say hi to the other top fans. Are you vegan yet? So far, Jasmine. Um, Sophia, Leona, Scary Girl Mimi, and Luna Fairy. And then crank that Frank at the top. <laughs> Stop denying the pillow. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, it's 95 degrees in Fahrenheit. Someone did the maths. It's going to be a stonking 95 degrees. Mm. I went to the gym today. Are you proud? Yes. Incredibly. That's that's quite impressive. I can't even relate, to be honest. Help, I have a massive headache, said Lisa. Wax and paracetamol up in your system. How was John Green? Oh, yeah, was, was the, the Paper Towns thing that Phil and I did after the last live show? I, did, I think it would have been if I went away. Yeah, um, Phil and I were asked by John Green to host an official... Q&A for the Paper Towns movie, uh, and it was pretty awesome. So we, it was at the Leicester Square Odeon, which is where all of the f big film premieres happen in the world, which was quite cool to uh, see behind the scenes. If you're wondering, like, what does it look like in Jennifer Lawrence's dressing room before she comes out and bows on a stage at, you know, the premiere cinema, it's horrible. It's, it's really disgusting. Um, it looks like a, a, a crack alley in New York in the 90s. <laughs> uh, but apparently that makes it conspicuous, uh, also, I've been told. But yeah, um, no, it was really awesome. Uh, I'm guessing you guys will have seen some of the tweets and videos that happened in the day, and some of the other stuff that was on the YouTube channel. But yeah, it was really good. We're really grateful that John asked us to host it. We love John. I love John in every way that you can love a person. <laughs> personally. So it was uh, great to see him and of course it was a surprise, no one knew, but Nat Wolf and Cara Delevingne were also there as well, which was pretty awesome. And they are 
really awesome people, uh, Kara and Nat. I love both of them in every way that you can love a person too. They're both just incredibly attractive, charismatic people um, that I struggled to uh, stare at without doing something weird. <laughs> so I'm sure you, most of you could probably relate to. Uh, yeah, but no, Nat's, Nat's really cool uh, and awesome. And Kara is, she's so funny. Like, she's so down to earth. Like, honestly, she's not how, you know, you stereotypically imagine a, you know, the most famous um, supermodel in the entire world. Kara's dating St. Vincent, said somebody in the chat. I know, right? Ultimate power couple. If I have an OTP, <laughs> right, in 2015, it's gonna be Cara Delevingne and St. Vincent. Are you kidding me? That's like, wow. Um, but yeah, no, she's really nice, friendly, happy, crazy, bubbly, lovely. That was a great day, TBQFH. Would you have read the book if you weren't hosting? I was gonna read the book anyway, because the film was coming out, because I hadn't read The Fault in Our Stars until I knew it was being made into a movie, and then I was like, I need to read the book before <laughs> I watch the movie. Because I'm that kind of person, which has worked for everything but Game of Thrones, which I started reading and I was like, this is just the TV show, and it's so dense, um, and I love the TV show, so I don't spoil it. Um, yeah, did you see the Winnie, <laughs> Winnie the Pooh petition for you? I did see the Winnie the Pooh petition for me, and it's quite funny. Uh, one of my friends that works at Disney actually showed me <laughs> the petition, which is quite funny. So who knows? Who knows? Uh, someone at Disney is aware that um, <laughs> that's the thing. Uh, I'll let you know as and when I get hired to be in a movie. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to place a bet on it, but thank all of you for doing that. I appreciate it, and it's funny, and just kind of nice. But ask Siri what zero divided by zero is. I did that earlier. It's quite funny. Do you want to hear it uh, in case any of you don't know? Let me just see what my vol's on. What's your vegan food tonight? I'm having a vegan vegetable bolognese. <laughs> I'll, I'll have you know. Uh, what is zero divided by zero? Imagine that you have zero cookies and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is said that there are no cookies, and you are said that you have no friends. <laughs> wow, that's a weird anecdote. It explains it. Sasses you for asking. Says that the Cookie Monster is sad for having no cookies, and then says that I'm sad for having no friends. And I, and I get that that is programmed by Apple, but um, to be honest, it hits a bit too close to home, and. Uh, I didn't need that, you twat. Who, me? No, who else would I be talking to after holding down the home button on my phone? You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. Oh yeah, change the subject. Um, hi, I missed you. Hello, Katie. That's funny. Dan, I ordered a phone case, didn't you? Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. Can we share a trash can, friend? Yeah, I think, I think we all are, to be honest. Whether we are trash of people in fandoms, or just generally as people with our awful senses of humours. Uh, I think that's a boat, or rather a can, that we're all in together. Do you have a lucky number? Nah. <laughs> Dan, who's your favourite Wiggle? I never watched the Wiggles. Watch, what, I don't, what like TV show was it on? What channel was it on in the UK? I bet it was like Channel 5 or something. I don't know. I was an Arthur kind of guy myself, and what did I watch when I was like an actual child? Winnie the Pooh, Thomas the Tank Engine, Pingu, which I found weirdly dystopian. I didn't really like Pingu. It, it get, made me feel weird. Um, <laughs> sorry if that's a controversial opinion for you. Um, and what was that? The, the Clangers. Yeah. Quality programming. Do, 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 do. Favorite Disney princesses? That's kind of hard. Um, I need to see a big list of them. I like all of them, to be honest. I prefer a lot of the new ones. Like, uh, does um, what's her face from Brave count as a Disney princess? She's a good role model. Um, Mulan, of course. I feel like Mulan's the goat. I get behind Mulan the most. Just kind of like I'm like, yes, Mulan, destroy the Chinese patriarchy. Um, <laughs> Merida, thank you. Uh, Rapunzel. Mm. 
Uh, I fell off a wall, said Bebobs420 in the chat. Oh dear. Uh, uh, hi Dan, hello RC Strong. Hi Dan, this is my first live show. Hello Ashley G. I hope there's nothing better that you could be doing with your time and that you, you don't, you don't feel too bad about watching this. <laughs> Fave Placebo album. Oh, that's tough. I don't know. Their first one? Does that make me a hipster? Um, is there a new gaming video? There is a new gaming video. We filmed it today and we are uploading it tonight. Um, I kind of finished it and I just told Phil to um, export it from the computer and make one of his beautiful... Um, oh my god, she's coming! Anna Hater is the number two fan, people! Dun dun dun, we will see. <laughs> we'll, we'll crank that Frank, be usurped. Um, <laughs> Oh god, well, well, I've instantly forgotten everything. I've, I've done it. I've done the thing that uh, Phil sassed me for not doing. World Tour! We are planning the World Tour. Do not worry. Um, don't lie, you filmed it yesterday. Uh, we filmed... A, no, we did. When did we...? Yeah, no, we did. It wasn't today, that was another thing. What's Dan talk What other thing is Dan talking about? <laughs> Other thing? Dan, what? Spoilers. Um, yeah, so look forward to that. We'll probably upload it directly after this li- I edited it today, thank you. Good brain. Um, directly after this live show. So look forward to that as soon as I leave. It's funny. Or, you know, I'd say that if it was terrible. It's not terrible, I promise. Um, <laughs> make a tune for my ringtone. We did a couple of those for the, uh, the Dan and Phil sim. Did you guys enjoy the Dan and Phil sim? That was, I feel like that was a fun experience. The audio clips will just be on Tumblr by now, I would hope. Make more vids, you gimp. More vids. Okay. So, um... So, so, yeah. If you're wondering what I've been up to recently, especially what I've seen everybody rabbiting onto me about, because it was probably the most, um... mysterious thing, was Dan... Why were you in Sweden? So I I consulted the higher powers and they said that I could say because it's uh, not a big deal. So here we go. Here's a fun thing that Dan's doing. Do 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 do. I am filming a TV documentary for the BBC about professional gaming, which is pretty cool, right? Um, so. Uh, I asked the BBC to, like, make some kind of, like, proper explanation about it that'll be more helpful than me waffling about it, because other people will want to know. Um, but yeah, uh, the BBC asked me if I wanted to do a documentary with them, which is pretty cool, right? That's pretty awesome. So, if you're wondering why I've turned bright pink, yeah, I feel like a cloud just went over the world and annihilated me. Um, can I... will it make it a bit more blue? Who knows? Um, yeah, so why I was in Sweden <laughs> and why I have been quite busy this last month and the, the other one where I was sick and chronic came to visit is because I've been filming a documentary, which is pretty cool. Um, but yes, obviously, that <laughs> kind of delayed the next Dan is Not On Fire video, which, you know, I... Dan is not fire is the thing that I, I care about the most and it's the most important thing to me and it is to you guys as well So I long for a Dan is not on fire video as much as you guys do But I guess in three years time. I'll look back and I'll think I guess it was kind of cool that that was the thing that I was uh, busy doing but yeah um, You'll probably hear more about that um, In a more interesting way. That's like actually a, <laughs> a good explanation um, but yeah, I've been really busy recently, um, because we're doing... I, f I feel bad for not telling you guys things, um, when they're happening, but obviously there's certain reasons, like the BBC were like, you, you can, you can say it when we say you can say it, which is fair enough, because that's how they operate, and I had to ask them to, uh, to tell you guys, and obviously, like, much like the book, I mean, the book was mental, because that was literally, like, months where we were like doing stuff and then it was like a huge surprise out of nowhere um but there are various things um <laughs> and yeah i mean like I'm, I'm definitely i'm doing 
so many things at the moment, but that's fun. You know, I'm enjoying how diverse my life is at the moment. I find it incredibly exciting. It's very inspiring and honest for me to be doing so many things that I'm kind of naturally inspired to kind of attempt myself. Um, but I think like, I'd feel like for my time, I either need to do less or get some help. But I'm sure you guys would agree with me that uh, I, I can't get help with Dan is Not On Fire because it's very important that that just stays kind of my, my thing. You know, videos that I film with YouTube friends uh, or, you know, like the book trailer aside, it's quite, you know, even if they're shit, it's special YouTuber Dan shit, which is what everybody <laughs> thinks is so special about YouTubers. Uh, so yeah, maybe I just need to not do all of everything else myself, because I do. I'm a bit of a control freak. Like, uh, we have the people that are like planning the marketing of our book, and I'm kind of like, yeah, I want to tell you what to say because you'll probably come up with something and I might not like it. Um, and that's not normal. You know, most people, you know, like a, a musician that does something or lots of people that do lots of things, they kind of just focus on what they do and let everyone else do everything else for them and just stick their face on it. But I kind of want to do everything with my face on it. Um, and maybe I don't need to do that a bit. Maybe I could be slightly less of a control freak or perfectionist. What do you want to call it? Um, but yeah, <laughs> don't worry, think about it. But I will be filming a new Dad's Not On Fire video tomorrow. So don't was, uh, things have been finished and I'm going to make a new Dad's Not On Fire video tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you what my idea for it is because as usual, that's a spoiler. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I fell off my chair today, Dan. Oh, thank you, Becky. I hope you haven't injured yourself because... Um, it's quite horrific when I injure myself. Boop, 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 boop. Can you say, hi, Nicole? Hi, Nicole. Can you be my dad? I can adopt you legally. That's fine. Are you, um, are you willing to hand feed me popcorn when I'm sad in the evenings? Uh, that's, that's the number one job requirement. Um, you make me feel important. Thank you. Thank you. That's a lovely thing to say. You are all important. We're all special snowflakes. Um, I'd love to, with all the things that I'm doing recently, I, I feel like I want to I wanna get back on more of the, I mean, yeah, no, I've done so. I think about, what have I, the other, the other day I had a, oh my god, it's July. Half of 2015 has finished. Half of 2015 is over. What the hell? That's crazy. And I go, oh my god, what if I, and I'm like, I know actually quite a few things, <laughs> but time, it's slipping away. We're all dying. Um, will you come to the US on your tour? I think it's safe to say we'll definitely be going to America. I think uh, that's, that's more or less uh, a thing. Stop with the existential crisis. Sorry, let's wind it back. <laughs> and this is when everyone goes, no, don't wind it back, Dan. Go all the way. Please, I need it in my life. I'm flying back home and butting a ticket. Um, <laughs> buying? Thank you. <laughs> Dan, I just fell down the stairs. Did you just actually fall down the stairs? I look like a beetroot right now. How can I... Can I... Let me... What, what does my lamp do? Nothing much. That will just make me hideous. My light bulb lamp. Isn't it a cool object? Mm. Yeah, no, that'll probably be absolutely disgusting. Who is that an improvement? I don't know. It's making me look really moist. That's that's just not great, is it? That's not an an improvement. For, okay, well, uh, uh, um, is, <laughs> that's that's really disgusting. Oh God, let's just let's hide that. That and then that does nothing now, does it? Wow. Um, it really cute beetroots or something in the chat. Thank you. That makes everything so much better. <laughs> I'm really thirsty. God, the 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 day, the warmth, it's just too much. Uh, 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 uh. Shane Dawson reacted to your first video. I saw, but didn't have time to see. Thanks, Shane. Go get water, Dan. Go get. <laughs> would would you would you just leave me to go go get water for a? <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Take this. Um. This piece of paper here. 
It's an interlude. Sticky. It is. Ooh, that's weird. What is it? It's a piece of lint roller. Enjoy the. What can I play while I'm doing it? Um, you can enjoy the sound of Chopin's Etude uh, Number no. Eleven in A Minor. I'll, I'll be like ten seconds. That was quick. I just got to the good bit and then it had to stop. It's a good song. Chopin's Etudes. Look them up. Good revising music. Pianos. I've said that before. You're not wearing pants, are you? They're on to me. <laughs> I, I, uh, what? Um, do you like the cello? I do love the cello. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm. Do you like my, um, Guild Wars 2 branded glass? Because I'm literally the biggest nerd in the entire world. Just gonna, gonna sip the chat while I have a... Did I say sip the chat? Did I, did I just say sip the chat? Did I just say that? Or am I imagining that? Because that's, that's quite even for me. God, my brain's just turned to cheese. Obviously, I've got sunstroke. I'm just baking in this heat inside my apartment. Mm. <laughs> Deadly memes in the chat said, Don't sip us! <laughs> yeah, okay, sorry. I'll try not to sip you. Oh, man. Um, come to Barbados, should I? Mm. I'm going to choke on the water if I read the chat while drinking, which is, which is bad. <laughs> so, I'm going to cancel that plan immediately. What are you watching at the moment? Um, I'm watching True Detective. I don't imagine this will be an extremely popular or relatable show in the chat because it's extremely adult. Um, if you are into quite adult dramas that are really talky and maybe a bit slow but really amazing, um, I really recommend True Detective. Um, especially the first season with Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson is like an incredible TV show. It's violent and really scary and you might not find it very interesting if you prefer like teeny shows or whatever. There are some adults in the chat. I'm not, I'm not saying so. It's not about age. It's about tastes and maturity because I'm sure there's probably a couple 30 year olds in the chat right now that, you know, watch Supernatural um, and, and I just offended Supernatural. I'm not going to say anything because I'm just going to offend somebody. Um, and I'm sure there's lots of seven-year-olds in the chat that probably watch Breaking Bad. Uh, it's just about what kind of shows that you like. Um, I recommend that. And the new season has come out and it's pretty incredible. Um, it was a bit talky. I felt like it was maybe a bit boring. Didn't like Vince Vaughn's character at first. This is just one of those things where no one cares about what I'm talking about, but I have no friends or anyone to talk to about my interests, so I will just rant about them in live shows, uh, but I'll be quick. Uh, yeah, no, it's really good. Incredibly beautiful, amazing acting, strong directing. It's just really great. Um, and everyone in the chat is like, Supernatural is life! <laughs> I'm, I'm working through the X-Files at the moment, which is a nine season show as it is, so Supernatural, that'll, that'll be something to embark upon by this point, because there's a lot of Supernatural for someone coming into it new, isn't it? <laughs> Everyone in the chat's just like, I live for them. What's, what's the word? Distil? Or is that just one of the guys? Um, Arrow and Dexter. Dexter started off good and then ended as a, a flaming corpse. You should play the piano. I should learn more piano songs. I agree. What do you think about Kanye at Glastonbury? Oh my god, nearly did the whole live show without talking about the most, <laughs> the most, the most important thing. Uh, yeah, so, Kanye, obviously, he's my fave. If, if I have a fave, like, you know, people, you know, they have their faves, uh, a gaga, people, uh, you know, fill is their fave. Who knows who your fave is? 
I've just, you know, whether or not I actually like him more than anyone else, or I think he's better than everyone else, um, I'm just, you know, I'm going to say that Kanye is my fave, and if the, if the term my fave is problematic ever applied to anyone, it's, it's me <laughs> being a Kanye stan, because it's like, uh, like it's, it's a roller coaster. I think all great fan, fandom, community, being a stan of someone experiences, they should be a roller coaster. You know what I mean? It's like, because imagine if Taylor Swift is your fave, it's just perfect all the time. And what's the funny? It's like, oh, Taylor's my fave, and she's literally perfect. She's the best human in the world. She's such a great example to all of us. It's a bit more fun if you're like, oh, Louis. Louis, I stand you. Get off Twitter. What are you saying? <laughs> but yeah, um, Kanye headlined Glastonbury. And yeah. Um, so opinions. I feel like it was extreme brave. A lot of the people that said good things about it said that it was really brave of Kanye. If you didn't see it, he didn't have any guests apart from Bon Iver, recent, uh, briefly who came on. And no backing dancers, no live instruments. It was just like a DJ and him on a stage with just white lights, like literally. And there's something very artistically minimal about that, because a lot of Kanye's staging recently, because I mean, Kanye is probably the kind of the best visual artist in mainstream music at the moment when it comes to like the visual aesthetics of performing and stagecraft. Like, don't fight me, I, that's just true. And you know, aesthetically it was great, but there was something very, philosophically poignant about it's just him just being like, it's just me, it's just Kanye. Um, but yeah, I feel like Beyonce and Jay-Z, they did huge crowd-pleasing sets that were designed to change haters' opinions. Because when Jay-Z headlined Glastonbury, loads of angry white guys that just listen to Foo Fighters all day uh, were like, Oh, Glastonbury should just be for guitars! Um, which is just dumb, because Glastonbury is a festival with rock, pop, country, um, you know, dance music, world music. It, Glastonbury is a festival that is supposed to represent culture of music around the entire world. It's the biggest music festival in the UK, and to imply that rap isn't welcome is incredibly ignorant, and let's be real, probably a little racist um, from the Oasis fans that have <laughs> those opinions uh, about why Jay-Z can't go to me. It's just dumb, and none of us should have any time for people whose opinions are like that. But they did set with it. They played all their biggest hits, Beyonce had loads of dancers and stuff like that, so I feel like Kanye, he really, sh like, I wanted him to put on the biggest show of his life with, you know, like, actors and dancers and fireworks and elaborate choreographing for every song to kind of just, like, blow p And Super Zoe in the chat said, you talk too much, Dan. I talk too- if I stopped talking, it would be silence. Um, uh, I wanted him to, you know, prove the haters wrong by blowing everyone socks off. So I was a bit like, it's brave, but I kind of wanted him to go all out. So I was disappointed because a lot of headliners, when they go to festivals, they do put on special shows just for the festivals. So I was a bit sad that he didn't do something special. And he kind of, he made loads of mistakes in the middle of the show, which was weird. It was a bit awkward. I'm being real. I can admit this about the person that I stand. Um, he made a bunch of mistakes. And it was weird. Um, it was good. Uh, I feel like I wish it was his Coachella appointment. If you want to just absorb some culture, go to YouTube and search Kanye West Coachella and watch his uh, hour and a half headline slot, which was probably, you know, a lot of people say it was the best live hip hop show of all time and arguably one of the best live events in the entire history of music, which isn't hyperbole. A lot of people think that Kanye is really good, so I, I kind of wanted it to be like that. Um, but, you know, I appreciated what it was. I'm kind of glad that I didn't make a huge effort to go to Glastonbury just to see that, almost. But, uh, yeah, anyway, um, I'll probably see him in like two weeks. Um, but, 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 your hair is growing. I need a haircut. Really need a haircut. It's gotten to a point. It's getting a bit desperate. 
starting to to look bad when I have bad hair days. Uh, yeah, and by haircut I mean light trim at this point. Uh, don't worry, we're not at the point where everyone's like, "Oh God, don't do it, Dan." And a bunch of people are like, "Yes, do it." Splinges, splinges. You know the longer your hair is, the more it splinges. Nice icon for now, said Stone Phantoms. Thank you. Yeah, make more vids, you gimp. Don't worry, there'll be some soon. Did you hear about the petition? <laughs> yeah, I liked it quite a lot. I'm seeing you in Birmingham in October. That's quite fun. Loving the new merch. Thank you. There will be more. Don't worry. Merch takes so long to make. Because, like, especially because me and Phil were so hands-on with it, we're kind of like, what do we even want to make? And then we spend ages, like, contemplating the designs... Um, and then we need to think about like the actual like fabrics and stuff and then we get samples and then we you know put the design onto the samples and we get loads sent and then sometimes we need to modify it and all of these things take like weeks to happen and they need to stock a warehouse so like <laughs> wow but don't worry cool cool things always on the horizon Phil's brothers a great guy everyone's saying sweatshirts okay um, I miss Wowzer do you is that a popular opinion? <laughs> Did you check out Apple Music today? I didn't have time to check out uh, it as it first happened. I was like, yeah, okay. And I was like, update iTunes. And I was like, well, that's happening tomorrow then, isn't it? <laughs> TBH. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Kind of miss your old icon. R.A.P. Wowza. It's it's a big thing. Everyone's, everyone's really missing the Wowza, aren't they? Uh, let's be real. Um, Dan, I love you. Stay awesome. Thank you, Pikachu. That's nice. Uh, when were your eyebrow returned from the war? I don't know. It was just harrowed in that picture, wasn't it? How's vegan life going? Delicious. And on that note, about food, I am so damn hungry. <laughs> I'm, you can tell what my priorities are. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that this, this was fun. I miss this when I don't do it for a week. So it was nice to see you guys. I'm going to film a Dance Not Five video tomorrow. Don't worry. That's, <laughs> that's going to be coming soon. Look forward to it. Um, we have made a Danifel Games video that we're going to go upload right now. Um, so after this, grab a drink, go do some yoga for 15 minutes, and then look at, on Danifel Games for a video that's going to be a proper lolzor. And uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. This was fun. I'll see you all soon. Uh, stay happy. And all the other positive, nice things I could say that I don't know how to articulate. <laughs> okay. Thank you for joining me. See you next week. Ciao.